Hello there. So today I am going to be showing you how to configure OB scoreboard on Ecamm Live. So this is what it will look like at the end. This is a Gaelic football uh, scoreboard. We also have soccer, rugby, tennis, darts, pool, and many more. And there's more to come. So yeah, um, I am going to delete this for the moment. So yeah, you can see we've controls and stuff here as well. So X. So then to add a new new one, you're gonna go to overlays, new widget overlay, and then you're gonna type in OB scoreboard in the widget URL and display name is OB scoreboard or whatever you want. So yeah, this is gonna bring you to the OBS scoreboard. If you're not logged in, you will have to log in. There'll be a login button here, and then you type in your login details. If you're not registered, just go to obscoreboard.com and register. Um, so yeah, you click this little toggle switch here to interact with it. So you can click on streaming scoreboard, and you show, you'll see it, it will appear there. So next, you are gonna unclick the switch to position it. You can use this to resize it and place it wherever you want in the screen. So in this case, I'm gonna put it in the top left and yeah, just leave it there. Next, we are gonna go to preview mode. Um, this, I don't actually have the preview showing, but this is the preview here. So you can see the scoreboard shows in the top left and corner. When you are in live mode, anything you change will change here in the pre in the actual live video. When you're in preview mode, nothing changes in, in the live video. So yeah, you can again click the toggle switch here to control the remote. And you can see it updates on the live screen then. You can add yellow cards and then this is Gaelic football and hurling. This is soccer. Again, like you're gonna configure these at the start so it's a little bit off screen. Um, this is rugby, this is darts, tennis, pool, and back to Gaelic football. So I'm gonna leave it at soccer, for example, and then again, you untoggle and put it in the corner here where you want to display it. And then you go publish, and you can see it shows up in the correct location. Again, back here. And yeah, if you want to use remote control, then you can go to settings and generate code. And then there is other videos on how to use remote control. It's pretty straightforward. Again, you just copy this code and go into this scoreboard remote here, and then you type in the code here. You can do this on your mobile device, or you can do it on a laptop, tablet, whatever you want, and it will work. So yeah, that is pretty much it really for today. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this video was helpful, and hopefully you can get your scoreboard running pretty quickly.